Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be doing another draft. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've said it many times now. This is just a draft channel at this point, but I do other videos on the side. You know, it's like, this is sort of the main thing. It's sort of taken over the be a pro in a way because I just got sick and tired of that. But anyways, today we are going to be doing a draft where the lines that I put together, they have to be from the same country. Now I know the comment says that I should do different countries. I feel like that will be a little bit too difficult and we won't really have a great team and I want our team to be good so that it's sort of ex an exciting video. I don't want us to know that we're gonna get killed. So I'm going to eliminate that part and just say that if they're playing on a line, they have to be from the same country. So basically it's the countrymen line draft. Honestly, I'm too lazy to go back to play now. So I'm just going to do it from here. And I will quickly explain that I feel like I'm going to sort of lighten up the schedule until NHL 23 so that I can go full force in NHL 23. That's my current plan. And by lighten up the schedule, I still mean like three videos a week. So I don't know if that's, you know, like a decent amount compared to other people or not. I have no idea what other people upload, but that's what I plan to sort of go down to for now. And I will be stopped. Shopping. Boom! We get the Boston Bruins. I feel like we get them a lot. But you know what? Randomness has no favorites and it has no memory. So we're just gonna run with it anyway. Owner mode, no thank you. Fantasy draft, yes please. Player morale, nope. Fog of war, no. Salary cap, we'll leave it on. Head coach, don't even think about touching my lines. You jabroni. I will say though, I'm gonna try my best to not just make this like a North America draft. Because realistically, oh we got pick 15. That's, that's not bad. I could just take all Canadians and that would still work or I could take you know Canadian line American line etc but I will try my best not to do that I'll try my best to at least get four countries but my aim is five this is probably a bold pick but I might take Igor Shosturkin which by the way goalies just don't it doesn't matter they could be anything it doesn't count because they don't really have a line mate I'm gonna take Shosturkin first overall well I shouldn't say first overall what I really meant was first for our draft but anyway Kadri's 90 overall in this roster which to be fair, I think he deserves it. He's only making 4.5 mil. I'm going to go ahead and take him as our first player. I'm going to try to kind of keep a note going here as well, because obviously I do want to know what players we're taking and what position they play, what country they're from. Kadri is Canadian. Evander Kane is also Canadian. He's a left winger, 87 overall, and he's only making 2.1. So I'm going to go ahead and make that selection. Also, I don't necessarily have to go in order. I don't know if I specified that already or not, but I could take from wherever, but eventually it just has to come full circle. I feel like our picks have been quite responsible so far. And like I said, I don't want to just take from North America or even just one country. So I'm going to take Eric Carlson, even though he's making a lot. Swedish defenseman, 87 overall. He'll be very good for this team. Andrew Kopp is an American centerman, 3.6. He can be a great second line center. I'm going to go ahead and cop him while I can, huh? And I think to play with him, I could take Captain America in Joseph Pavelski. So I will be doing that. He will be a right winger on that line. I could take Brian Rust to complete that line because... He is an 85 overall, making 3.5. Very good. But you know what? I'm going to complete our first line and go with Tom Wilson. We have Kadri, Evander Kane, and Tom Wilson as our first line. That is iconic. I'm pretty sure that OEL is Swedish. Is EK65 right-handed? I'm going to check that out quick. Drafted players. Eric Carlson. He is. Okay, that works out splendidly for us. I'm taking OEL. Raquel is a Swede, so I could make a Swedish forward line as well, maybe. For Marcus Foligno, it says American-born Canadian ice hockey player, so it's sort of confusing. And just to not go that route of <laughs> controversy, I'm going to go ahead and take Sod. Let's try to build a check line just for fun. David Krejci, 84 overall, making 750k. You can't go wrong because staring me right in the face, we have... Andre Palat, left winger, from Czech, that is prime. I want to make a second pair of Suter and Eric Johnson, but will they both still be here is the question. Actually, you know what? Scott Mayfield shoots right. Okay, change of plans. I'm going to try to pair Suter with Mayfield. Yep, he's still there. That worked out quite well in my opinion. I will be selecting Radulov and trying to make a Russian line as well. Could have tried to make a Finnish line. Maybe I'll try to make a Finnish defensive pair. I'm gonna take Dominic Simon to complete the Czech forward line. I'm gonna take Cal to be our backup goaltender. I want to take Dad enough for that Russian line, but five mil. I don't know if we can do that right now. Okay, maybe trying to build a Russian fourth line was not the best idea. I'm just going to take Dad enough and we're going to find a way to make it work. Like I said, I want to try making a finished defensive pair. So I'm going to take Oli Mata, which brings us to not a lot of cap space left. I might have to take Nico, even though he shoots left. I think it's just probably our best bet. Yeah, I'm going to do it. There you go. You are now a part of our 
final defensive pair, which means we have 2.7 to get a final Russian forward. I don't know who's going to be center for that line, but I'm probably just going to take Svechnikov. Nico Sturm, it would have been sick to make a German line, but I don't know what other German players there even are really. Okay, well anyway, let's go with Svechnikov and call it a day. Overall, I'd say that went quite well. We only had one overlap with a forward and defensive pair, and that was USA. So I probably could have done it, but again, we wouldn't be as good as we're going to be. And we still might not be good. Can any of you guys take face-offs? That is the question. It's probably all going to be 60 and 65. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Defensively, we get a plus one here with Carlson and OEL. Suter, Mayfield are a zero. Same with Nico and Oli. So our first line is Kane, Kadri, and Wilson. That is a solid first line. Gets a plus two. Then we got Joey playing with Kopp and Saad, Palat Krejci, and Dominic. Radulov, Dadanov, and Svechnikov. In net, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Igor Shosturkin. So we're basically winning the Stanley Cup is what I'm trying to say. And then we have Cal backing him up just for good measure. I'm going to say we get 47 wins. We make the... Eh, 46 wins. We make the playoffs and Pavelski gets the most points with 80. I never know what to expect in terms of whether we're going to be good or not. Because whenever I feel I expect us to be good, we suck. And vice versa. So I really... Ooh, 9-2 to San Jose. And Winnipeg already fired their coach. You hate to see it. Still pretty early into the season, but... You know, we're floating. We're not doing bad, but we're not doing great. Oh, wow. We are last in the division right now. That is not good at all. If you go back and play one of the older NHL games like I did with NHL 15, it really makes you appreciate how fast this simulation actually is. Yeah, just keep getting overtime losses. If you're going to lose, at least do it in overtime or a shootout. So that way we get one measly point out of it, which is better than none last time I checked. We are currently fourth in the division, 31, 24, and 6. I don't know why I keep like shortcutting division. I can't just say the whole word division i'm like division it's like instead of saying toronto i say toronto but that's just everyone from toronto says that let's go ahead enter the deadline and bang we get ranta he is going to be the top player. Oh, wow. It's pretty weak this year. Jeez, 84 is the highest player on the block. All right, get me out of here. Say less. How will the Bruins do on the back part of the season here? So far, not so good. 47 wins is absolutely not happening, which you know, is devastating, but we still stand a little bit of a chance at making it in. No, we didn't make it. That's brutal. I thought our team was solid, but what do I know? We finished 40, 33, and 9, which isn't too bad. We had 89 points. The LA Kings go on to win the President's Trophy. This is what their team looks like. They had Ovi, Couture, and Bailey. It's just a very interesting team. Very interesting team. It was, in fact, the top 16 teams that made it. Oh, so the Rangers can get in with 89 points. Hey, I see how it is. Maybe I should have moved the USA line up to line number one, but... Pavelski did get the most points. He had 71. Kane had 59. Kopp with 56. Kadri 55. EK 65 put up 46. Krejci put up 41. Igor didn't do phenomenal. He had a 29, 24, and 7 record with two shutouts and a 909. And then Cal had 11, 9, and 2 with one shutout and a 908. Jari led the league with the Tampa Bay Lightning, having 41 Ws on the season. The most shutouts I see here is six for Katahat down there. He only had a 905, though. We get a 916 from Jari. And a 921 from Kemper. 921 as well from Stellars. Roman Yossi, lead defenseman. He had 76 points. What a mad lad. We got 65 from Carlson and Fox. Tony D put up 64. And we got 63 from Riley and Hughes. Three players broke the 100 mark this year. And unfortunately, it was not our Kane. It was the other one. He put up 100. 49 goals. 51 hamburger helpers. Pasta put up 33 goals. And a nice amount of assists. 82 helpers from Barzell. Holy. Oh, he was playing with Kane. All right, that checks out. And then they also had Philip Forsberg. So yeah, San Jose has quite the first line there between Barzell, Kane, and Forsberg. That's outrageous. And then I'm guessing Arizona's first line is Buchnevich. And then they also had Larkin and they had Pasta. Rocket Richard goes to Matthews who tucked 51. On that note, let's simulate the playoffs and find out who goes on to take home the Stanley Cup. The Ottawa Senators take it home and the Barracuda get the Calder Cup. Looking at the player stats in the playoffs, Bergeron absolutely lit the lamp. He got 26 points in 18 games. Huberto got 24. Oh my word, putting them together. Yeah, that's just foul. Stellars dominated in the playoffs here. A 948 save percentage. A record of 16-2-0. What an easy run it was for the Senators. So either they swept 
every series except for one and that went to two games or they had two series that were 4-1 and that is just stupid charlie mcavoy led defenseman he had 13 then we got moritz taves and headman all with 12 shabbat got 11 for those wondering here is the full roster for the ottawa senators so they do look pretty solid i can't lie we already know the team awards here i guess we didn't really know that one per se but dallas made it to the finals against ottawa barzell wins the art ross pasta gets the heart yossi with the norris kane gets the lady bing tomasino gets the calder that's sick all right that's a first Stellars gets the con smythe i don't really see goalies win this very often or really ever so that's huge congrats he also gets the vesna vazzy gets the jennings romanov with the masterton dufrance gets the jack adams bergeron with the selkie pasta gets the Lindsay and austin matthews gets the rocket richard here is the playoff tree so yeah they swept the first two rounds and then the next two they just went 4-1 that is a incredible playoff run. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you have other draft ideas or just video ideas in general, go ahead, let me know in the comments down below. As I said, I might kind of slow down until NHL 23, but I am already starting to compile an NHL 23 video idea list, which I am hyped for. So on that note, I will see you soon.